So Mumbai, of course, the dreams to make Mumbai a global city. It's been difficult right now with all the construction that is happening, but very soon that infrastructure will, you think, make Mumbai a global city? Yeah, I think uh, uh, we have started our journey towards that. Uh, since 14 to 19, we invested around $30 billion in creating infrastructure in and around Mumbai. Today, you can see uh, we have recently opened the Trans Harbor Link 22 kilometer sea bridge, which is, I think, uh, uh, one of the longest sea bridge ever built in India. Uh, we'll start our coastal road. We have started a metro network of 375 kilometers, out of which 50 kilometers we have already delivered. 50 kilometers we'll be delivering this year, 50 kilometers more in next year. So I think by 2027, we'll be able to deliver around 375 kilometers of, of metro network. Just imagine that in last uh, uh, 50 years, we created a suburban railway network, uh, which is lifeline of Mumbai, which carries 9 million passengers. And in just uh, a span of 10 years, we are creating a metro network, which will carry uh, 7 million passengers. So it's almost we are doubling. Uh, it is our dream that in Mumbai, uh, the biggest problem is com commutation. So we have decided that from any part of Mumbai to any part, we'll create an infrastructure that a person should be able to travel in less than 60 minutes. In 59 minutes, we should be able to, uh, you know, reach there. And all these iconic projects which we are creating will change Mumbai. And this Trans Harbor Link and the new Mumbai airport has opened up entire area for development. A third Mumbai will be developed there. So there's one Mumbai, there is new Mumbai, and the third Mumbai will be developed between this, uh, uh, the new Mumbai airport and MTHL. And this will be a Mumbai of future. I think it will, uh, uh, you know, fuel the growth of Maharashtra for next 30 years. And uh, I'm, I must tell you that when I talk about Mumbai, we, Mumbai is not just Mumbai, it's MMR region. So today, uh, our entire economy was uh, actually fueled by the JNPT port. JNPT is India's one of the biggest port. It, port. It handles around 60% of our container traffic. But now recently, with the blessings of Honorable Prime Minister, we have cleared the way for uh, Wadhavan port. Now this Wadhavan port is something which is going to change the economy of India and Maharashtra totally. Because Wadhavan port is three times bigger than JNPT port. It has a deep draft of 20 meters. It will be India's biggest port and for next 20 to 30 years, the entire Indian economy will be actually fueled and charged by this uh, Vadaman port. So whether it is port, whether, uh, uh, whether it is a metro infrastructure, whether it is road infrastructure, uh, whether it is coastal road, all these things, we are actually creating an entire loop of roads to, to, to Mumbai. It is like, uh, you know, the coastal road we have uh, already built from uh, there, there's a Varli Bandra ceiling, Bandra Varsova ceiling, from Varsova to Virar a ceiling, from Virar to Alibag, a corridor, and already that uh, that connects to uh, the ceiling which comes to, uh, yes, uh, you know, this part. So an entire loop we are creating. So I think infrastructurally, Mumbai will be one of the most advanced cities in India.